Morning guys and welcome to Travel Day Home. Good morning. Sad day as we're going home and like me and Christy were just saying, this is the first time we're going to go home from a trip and we've not got a trip booked, have we? I know, sad times. <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah, so so we've, we've had many holidays this year, haven't we, many so far. Yeah, we've, we've, had, had, we've had three in a very short space of time as well, yeah. which that's just how it's landed this year. Um, but, but, but yeah. I think the next, the next holiday we're going to have will be Probably next year now, but let, yeah. let's see. One thing I do want to say is, like I always, I'm going to start saying this time, don't, don't forget to subscribe. There's so many people who watch the videos aren't subscribed. It yeah. really does help the channel. It really does. So, let's get this day started. So we've just come down to breakfast. Seb's already sat here with his pancakes and his Nutella. And he's only got a table for two. So we're going to have to bring another chair over for me and Christy. Honestly, the breakfast here is absolutely to die for. It really is. I don't really want to show you too much, but there is absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. But, you know, I'm quite a basic guy. I always get a couple of bread rolls to start the day. Uh, and I'll probably get something else in a little while. But as you can see, Seb is still sat here going to town on his Nutella pancakes. So we've been quite basic on this holiday, like I said, I've had a lot of bread rolls. And, um, Christy's had a lot of eggs. The woman who cooks the eggs here, she does it just right, doesn't she? Yeah, I ask her to flip them and she flips them so then they're not a bit runny and snaps it. What's it called, like? is that called sunny side up? No, that's when you, you have it not like that, not flipped. I'm going to welcome Billy to the vlog as he's joined us. Look at that for a breakfast. What are you saying about that? <laughs> this boy does not mess about. That's a big boy breakfast. <laughs> it's a big boy breakfast. Sad times now as we are um, packing the cases and getting ready to check out. The reason we're going to check out quite early because it's only at 20 past 10 is we're going to go into Belek. Seb is after a new... <laughs> He's after something, so we're going to go to Black now, which I'll take you with us, but yeah, we're going to get checked out now. Uh, so, because check it is 12, and it's like I said, it's 20 past 10. By the time we get back, it's probably going to be about 1 o'clock. So, at this hotel, it's really good. They have a thing called a comfort room where you can get showered and all your bags. So, we're going to go there now and drop our light kit off. Uh, oh, Christina yeah, got stuck in the lift before we uh, head on to the lake. <coughs> So just from the entrance of our hotel, or our block, there is these comfort rooms which I'm just going to take you to now. Actually, Christy's already took my stuff through. So these comfort rooms here, uh-uh, here. So you've got like a shower. Must be on a sensor, I would have thought. We'll have to find the light switch layer, but let me show you quickly. You have these lockers. Uh, lockers just have a key card on them and you can lock all your stuff up and everything's nice and safe and it's free as well so this is one of the shower rooms i just walked yeah. in before i don't know how you turn it on christy the light oh yeah there you go so these shower rooms you can lock this room so we could just come in here now you know toilet, toilet sink and a big shower this is great for us, isn't it, as a family? We can just get ready in here, can't we? And when I say there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these rooms. Seven of these rooms. So it's really good. Yeah, we can it's... Provide towels. Got all the towels there. <coughs> so this is the comfort room. I'm going to whisper because there is actually somebody already in there, we think. But we'll just quickly peek in and show you. Yes, yeah, so there's actually like... Um, Beds in there. There's beds in there, so if you've got a late checkout or an early checkout even and you don't yeah. want to go to a bar or a restaurant, you can just go and have a rest in there. And then there's this room which is just it's like you... a TV chill out zone. And um, there's like tables over there, so if you needed to do work on your laptop for, for whatever reason, you could sit over there on the other side. There's like pods where you can sit. Yeah, and there's all these refreshments they put out, and these are fresh every day, aren't they? Yeah, you can just help yourself. You've got a fridge full of water, a few beers in there. Coffee machine. Coffee machine. 
And I think people have... Uh, people can leave creams or yeah, whatever and stuff like that. Want to take them with them. I think we might do that ourselves with some and of the stuff we've got. And some TVs as well, so if you just want to chill and watch a bit of TV. It's a great, great uh, thing for, uh, for people checking out, isn't it? Excuse me, any chance of taking us to Belek? <laughs> We've literally just checked out, asked the guys to order us a taxi and it looks like it's here already. They literally come so within quick. a minute, don't they? Yeah. It must be like waiting. Yeah, so we're here heading we to Belek now, aren't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. I might treat myself to something nice. Yeah. So the sun is shining and we're back in Belek. Still very, very quiet. We're looking forward to see what Seb gets today. So I did film this the other night, but um, how nice is that? So this must be like the main town square of Black. Honestly, as we've mentioned before, there's just so many shops. There's shop after shop after shop, all selling the same things. Honestly, is this guy just a football kit man? That's it's really nice, I think. Honestly, I can't believe how cool it is. It is really cool, that. Ballon d'Or winner eight times, Lionel Messi. Oh, it's seven. Oh, seven times. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. So we've just come back from Belek now, and we're going to spend a little hour or two chilling by the pool before the football starts. No, I, I tell you why I have no. And there's Billy with his ice cream. Bobby's chilling in the pool. And I think, and I think Seb's getting ready for a bit of a beach volleyball. So Seb's had a bit of fun time in the pool. You excited to go home? You are excited to go home. No, no. <laughs> You're a little bit sad. Well, at least we've got another few more hours and before we go home on this travel day. We'll get to show Seb playing some football. What score is it in the series? 3-2? Yeah, but the Russians have gone, so we've won. Yeah, so it's been like two teams, Seb's team with his friends and another team. and It's 3-2 in the series and they've gone home, but one more last football match for you today. Yeah? And by the Russians, they like kick everyone and stuff. Yeah, they're quite aggressive players, but you've done really well against them, haven't you? And there's this new kid called... David, is it? Yeah, and he's come onto your side, hasn't yeah, he? And he's uh, the Ukrainian Academy player from Dynamo. Dynamo, Dynamo. Somewhere. Yeah. But as you can see, it's still a lovely day here in Turkey. I think in a minute we're going to go and get something to eat just to uh, get for lunch, yeah? Are you going to get something with me? So our lunch has just arrived. Gaz has gone for the what? What is it? That uh, Donna. Donna. So Donna kebab. It's in like it, a really it, soft pizza really bread. A few times. And it comes with chips and like salad. And then I've gone for the chicken poke bowl, which I have had this before. And let me tell you guys, it is incredible. Mm. It's so nice. So yeah, we'll catch you when we've uh, tucked into this. So the boys are just playing a little bit of football before we go home. Seb's captain. Seb's captain there in the middle with the green vest on. Here with Billy with the chain on. What do you think, Bill, of this football match right now? I'm not seeing enough. Seb, Seb's here. 1v1. Oh, Milan, Milan. oh this, is Seb. this is on your vlog, Seb. This is on your vlog. Oh, what a pass from Seb. Look at that. Here, here you press it. You press it on. We've had an amazing time with Buddy. But he's still staying for two more days. Ask him what he thinks about his two goals today. Can what do you think of your two goals today, bud? Two goals for you, two goals for Seb, and a 4-3 victory. Yeah. We topped it off well today, didn't we, brother? Mm -hmm. Here he comes with his final sprite of the holiday. <laughs> One thing I've not mentioned is this hotel as well is a big hotel for a lot of golfers. You'll see everybody in the morning Around 7 a.m. heading out to play golf, won't you? I've, I've well, you've never been up that early, but I have. But we just now, it's 5 p.m. and we're just heading back to the comfort room to get showered and changed. Sad time because in an hour and 45 minutes we'll be going home. But we've had a full day here, haven't we? Have you enjoyed it? You have enjoyed it, haven't you? I really. Were you being honest when you said £100 to stay in the Two nights. I was joking. We can't stay because you're off school on Monday, 
but then we're back to we're back to school on Tuesday, so we'll get back Monday morning about 2 a.m. But like I said, we're going to head to the comfort room, get changed, get showered, get ready to go home. I think though, before we go home, Seb, we might even go and get something to eat. Let's see. Can everybody see me okay, Seb, in the dark? <laughs> so it's 20 past six now. We're all showered and changed. And we're going to head to the restaurant to get something to eat before we leave. We get picked up in about 30 minutes, so we'll just left the cases at the reception. We're going to head this way to the 24 hour restaurant. What are you going to get, Seb? I don't know. Very good, very nice. Mm. Seb is the chicken nugget man. It's too hot. They've just come fresh out of them, haven't they? So there's no taste test at the moment, but we're, um, we're, we're in a rush because we've only got 15 more minutes, haven't we, until we have to oh. get to the front. We get picked up at quarter two, and it is now half past. Right, so it's home time now. We're all just getting on the coach. Because there's only half of us going home now, and there's a few going in a few days. But Seb's, uh, Seb's got his last fan through the holiday. Check one out with brother. I'm led to believe it's Turkey though, there are two security checks, so there will be a second. Is that what they said? Three? Ten is No, well, I'm sure there's two, so we're first through, we're through the first one, and then we're just going to go and uh, get everything, all our bags checked in, and then we'll go through the secondary check after that. So we are queuing at 236237, and the queues look very big. So we've joined the queue at the back there. As you can see, the queue is absolutely massive. Um, I don't even believe the check-in desk is yet open. It needs to open soon because we're due to fly in about an hour and a half. Uh, I'd like to get through to the side and you know, maybe get something to eat or get a snack of something, some sorts. So we're now through to the second security check, so this passport control and then a second scanning of our bags. So we are through the security check and straight into the duty free. Christy, is there anything you want from the duty free today? I might get some sunglasses, some perfume. I might get the whole store actually. Oh, that would be great. I bet in here there's nothing we actually want, is no, there? No, I don't want uh, Do you want to go and get some things to eat? Yes, I think that's probably the best oh, bet. Oh. It is just a standard duty free, you know. So, do you like, you like the lint story, brother? Who doesn't? i tell you what I do like, I do like them. Dead Ritter Sports. But yeah, like I said, it's just a standard duty free. Yeah. And every, everybody who watches the channel will know that Seb absolutely loves an Oreo. Yeah, now he, he likes them. Okay? Now you're a Kinder Bueno man, aren't you? No, I just need this. Oof. But yeah, like I was saying, it's a standard store with all your perfume and stuff. I'm not actually sure what the price is like in here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a quick walk over here and let's just see what what the price is on a certain item just so we uh, get a feel for it. So something that people probably do buy. Let's have a look. How much is a bottle of Absolute Vodka? So, Stand Absolute Vodka is 100 CL, 23 euros. Well, these boys have just got a subway at the airport. What an absolute joke. How much was that, guys? 28 euros for two sandwiches. For two six inch subs and two drinks. One being a water and one being a Powerade. Like, what the hell? 28 euros? Scandalous. It's like 25 quid, that, for a couple of sandwiches. Yeah, the worst thing is, the meal deal. They didn't have the crisp on the cookies, so they won't do the meal deal. 
So, 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 so they charge for everything separately. Please note for future guys, do not go to Subway at Antalya Airport. It's not bad. How's the sandwich though? Is it all right? And they'll give a rating out of 10. Seb? 9.65 out of 10. What do you say, Seb? Mm, don't look very convincing with that eight. Bread. One type of bread? Yeah. It's not filling us with confidence, this, is it? But you can't eat now, can you? Right, we've not got any money left and poor mummy can't eat for the next week. What am I going to do? So a little Starbucks was bought and also Seb has to treat himself in the duty free. He got some uh, Kinder Buenos. And this is... Uh, and I got a chocolate bar though. <laughs> and we're just about to board the flight now. We were sat there and it said last call for the flight. It's in our own little world. We were just chilling, weren't we then, bro? I know, gotta got that snack. And uh, look, he says no more rifles on, on um, the planes. Just leaving the airport now. Just getting on that plane. I'll tell you what I can't wait for, and Seb said the same. Let's have a little sleep. Feeling a bit tired, aren't we? I like that, just woke me up. A little iced coffee. Now, I, I don't want to go to sleep. Well, I might do a bit. I want to lay down and get my pyjamas on. I'm not wearing anything. Not right, so we're on the flight back to Manchester obviously. As you can see now we're just about to get onto the plane. Manchester. I uh, didn't really film much during the flight because for the four hour flight I was asleep most of the time. As you can see we are back in Manchester now. Let's uh, head into security. Now we've got our cases. It's just a case now we're getting on the bus to uh, Jet Parks 3. So I think this potentially could be our bus now. Well, maybe not. The jet pack when you wear. That's us now, dropped off. We're ready to get in the truck and ma make our way home. Except a very tired boy, aren't you, darling? It is, though. We just had to walk another mile all the way down. <laughs> we didn't really. No, it's one o'clock in the morning, so we are tired. Um, so we're just going to jump in the truck now and then head back to Bolton. It should take us about 35, 40 minutes. So we're in the car, we put it in the sat nav, and we are 33 minutes away from our lovely toasty beds. Excited for that, guys. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, um, but I'm going to work today. So I'm gonna get home now, I'm gonna get into bed, and then obviously when I wake up, I'll go to work when I actually wake up. My little man, fast asleep in the back. And just like that, another travel day is over. Uh, apologies, we didn't feel much on the way home. It's just we're absolutely knackered because it is 1.30 in England, so in Turkey it would be 4.30. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. We'll see you soon. So don't forget the free to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So you know when our awesome videos are out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!